Where are we going, Mr. Eric? Liberty Baptist Church. Right on. Liberty Baptist Church. Where we're going to teach them all about something. Proof of God. Proof of God. That's right. That'll be easy. And then Sean's going to sleep in the van while we do that. Okay, we're set up at Liberty Baptist Church in Miami, Oklahoma. Hey, is it really tacky to say, what do you think, if we put in brackets at the bottom our best price ever or something, or is that too? Bad. Yeah, it is the best price ever. But is it tacky to say that? <laughs> our best price today. The best deal. Our best deal ever? It's not on. Sure, yeah. It's okay, not? So Why is it? No, it's not. <laughs> this is how Eric prepares to speak at a church. Notice he's studying intently with all these people surrounding him, asking him questions. Hey, why is it that you believe in God? I mean, really, if I were to step up, to have you step up to the mic, would you be able to defend your faith right now? Would you be able to tell me why exactly you believe in God and why exactly you consider yourself a Christian? Are you ready to give an answer? You know, the Bible tells us to be ready to give an answer. Ooh, tetherball. Yes, I haven't played tetherball in years. Dude, I know I was the tetherball champ. <laughs> no, camp. I was the tetherball champ. Well, this is camp. It is very buggy and sunny. Sweet. All right, so this is the view outside of the window. We are in the cabin here. I'm on the top bunk. And over here on the bottom bunk is this guy named Sean. Where's going? We are at Grand Lake Baptist Assembly. We are here for the week with Eric Hovind doing things at camp. Uh, a lot of which will include probably some water. So this should be interesting. Those guys are losers. Rubber band 
rubber band warrior with him. Uh, Sleepy. <laughs> definitely not when my toenail got ripped off. Oh, all right, a toenail ripping. Definitely <laughs> the preacher. The yeah, preacher. Pre preacher man. Yeah, he's really good. Baby. Yeah, but he smells funny. <laughs> <laughs> only, only you would say that. <laughs> uh, now, do you have the toenail for viewing? Oh, you got a tennis shoe on. Oh, this will be pretty. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's nice. How'd that happen? On the wreck field, doing the wet one. It's the... So it's all the mud's fault. Yeah. All right. <laughs> cool wheels. Wheels. Getting reunited with God. Oh, nice. That's always good. Yeah. Can't top that. Um, I reunited. Excellent. And? Um, probably the band. So you guys coming back again? Yeah. Sweet. What are you gonna do when you get home? Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, sleep. 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 <laughs> and then throughout the year, you're gonna read lots of the Bible, right? Yeah. Awesome. It's a good book. A very good thing. Favorite part of the whole week, what is it? The mud. The mud? Yeah. Okay, good answer. Alright, favorite part of the whole week, what do you think? Good. So your favorite part was good? Yeah. Excellent. Huh? <laughs> Probably the pool. Oh, the pool. Yeah. yeah, you can't go wrong with that. No. But you're not burned. No. Oh, yes I am. My shoulders are oh. pretty bad. Favorite part of the whole week? Yep. Paintball. Alright. Paintball. Favorite part? Besides the harem. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't think I have a favorite part besides that. <laughs> oh, um, I think you enjoyed the pool quite a bit. I did enjoy the pool, and I enjoyed the sunburn. I bet. Yeah. Hey, find these DVDs and books and stuff. I can't wait to go. It's going to take me weeks to read all this. <laughs> That's right. When we run out of that, we got lots more. Amen. Alright, so what was your favorite part of the whole week? Favorite part of the whole week? Yeah, rubber, rubber band, band war. That was intense. Right. This dude right here. He's a beast. So are you guys Christians? Yes. Yeah. Why are you Christians? Because without God you can't know anything. Oh yeah? I don't believe in your God. How do you know? Or no. Why don't you believe in God? Yeah. Well, because I just know that he's not there. How do you know But he's how not do you there? know that? Uh because I just know. I, I know everything. Okay. You can't know anything. Without God. Because assuming that of everything out there that there is to know, if you know like everything in the world, everything in the universe, let's say you know about 1%, right? Right. So that would mean that the 99% of things that you don't know could contradict the 1% that you do know, correct? That might be possible. So in order to know anything, you would have to know someone who knows everything or know everything yourself. So that means without God, you can't know anything. Mm, I don't know, these guys are crazy. Yeah, they're nuts. <laughs> you guys aren't making any sense at all. Like if you were standing on the street and an old lady walked up to you, you could do three things. You can help her across, just leave her, or you can push her out in front of a truck. Which one would you do? Well, I've evolved morality over the years, and so I would know that it would be wrong to push her in front of the truck. So you do believe in right and wrong? Well, it's up to the individual, sure. So basically you're taking our world view from what God has given us and applying it to your own life, but then trying to say there is no God? Well, and then you're to trying you to say we sound crazy. <laughs> now we're just saying you have a weird haircut. Yeah, it is kind of, it's pretty crazy, <laughs> huh? I like that. Beautiful. Buddy, well, do you think they're equipped? They're getting there. <laughs> right. They're getting there. They're yes. on the right path and they've got some great knowledge. That's good. Yes. And they have a free DVD about dinosaurs. Yeah. Look at I, that. You gave them a free one? 